who could teach me to pick locks? The lesser herbarium. Who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? No. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white-robed bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now, now, Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. Because you'll find and gut me if I fail. You know what you'd be getting into. Don Esteban hates people who try to cheat him. And so do I. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere. And they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. How does the Bruegel weed get into the town? You don't need to know that. And what if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcella would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. I'll follow Garth. Good. 
Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous sort. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it? Hey, sweetheart. How about I make a real man of you? Once you get some lily loving, you'll never look back. How much will that cost me? Oh, when I'm finished with you, you'll feel like bathing me in gold. But a couple of gold coins will do for starters. Sorry, I'm not interested. Come on, love. How long has it been since you had a warm body beside you? What part of I'm not interested did you not understand? All right, all right. Can't blame a girl for trying. Ulf sent me. You're supposed to rendezvous at the meeting point. Great. So, he's okay. Thanks for the message. I'll see you around. Tell someone who cares. Oh, crap. What do you want? Did... Did you follow me? It really wasn't hard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I seen you about. Nosing in everyone's business. People don't like people's noses being stuck into other people's business. People like that get hit. By people. Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Then you leave me no choice. Garth, get him! Shut his flapping mouth. Time for a little lesson. Oh yeah! <sighs> get in there! Yeah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh yeah! Ah! Uh. Yes! Ah! 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 Oh yeah! Ah! Oh yeah! 
Huh? Have that! Yeah. Hit him! Get in there! Oh yeah! 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 Have that! Ah! Get in there! Yes! Yeah! Have that! Get in there! More like this. Ah. We need more like this. Watch yourself. This is good stuff. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Fun. A pretty decent fight. Now start talking. Look, I didn't mean to step on the Don's toes. You stole his weed. That's pretty much stomping on them. I... I wasn't going to sell it in Harbour Town. Then where? Just, uh, just in the monastery. They all love a bit of Bruegel up there. You should remember it's the Don's Bruegel. They're rich up there. Loads of gold. It's all that poking around in the ruins. Who else is involved in this Bruegel smuggling? Just me. And I'm supposed to believe that? Believe what you like.
should go away. Did you want something? I've brought you some meat for the needy. Really? Flavio said you could use it. That I can. There are some more refugees driven here by the creatures in the temples, by the Don. We even have some refugees from other islands. We need help if we are to care for them all. Can you teach me about hunting? Help me improve my dexterity. Yes, exactly. Help me improve my dexterity. Good. Help me improve my dexterity. That's it. Drink? Of course. Who could teach me to pick locks?
Now who could teach me to pick locks? I think that's cooked. Looks good. I think that's cooked. Can you house some farmers in your warehouse? Uh, well, I should be able to give you enough room for one person. Master Belshaw has the meat. He's handing it out. Wonderful. Here, take these potions. Life here is very dangerous. We all need any help we can get. Ah, one more thing. If you want to rest, there is still a bed in my warehouse. Good news. Your wife can stay in the warehouse at the end of the gutters. It's got to be a better place than here. We're in your debt. It shows there are still good people here. My wife will go there right away. I'll stay and work. We don't have much, as you know. But talk to Martha. She would want me to give you something by way of thanks, my friend. Stranger, perhaps the darkness will spare you. What is this darkness you're talking about? The darkness that will eat the world. Perhaps it is better to die now. Take this. May it bring you comfort. I don't feel like talking. Found lodgings for Martha, the farmer's wife. You are a good man. If only all the people in this town were as considerate. Here, I have something for you. May the holy flame light your way. I have other things to do. What is it? You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into, which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cursed the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? 
But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rotworms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. Let me think about this. Please, I'm begging you, mate. Don't tell Sid or Rodriguez. Hmm. Wait here. If you run, I will find you. All right. All right. I've been thinking. Now I've decided. What? What are you going to do? It's better if you disappear. For good. That way you won't be a problem for Sid. Or anyone. No. You wouldn't. No. D don't kill me. It would solve the problem. Wait. If I have to disappear, then let me disappear. I'll vanish underground. I'll never come back to Harbour Town again. I swear on the Holy Flame, mate. Everyone will believe I'm dead. Even my family. What do you say? I, I can be gone in seconds. Do you know a way out of Harbour Town? I'll find one. I'll jump the wall if I have to. I can't take the risk. Oh no. Ah! 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 I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle has gone. Forever, I hope. What did you do with him? You really want to know? Nah. You dealt with it. That's enough for me. Let's forget him and talk business. Looks like I saved your skin. True. I'd be on the run right now. So, how will you repay me? Skordo knows you helped me. That's reward enough. I can teach you a couple of tricks. If you want to learn how to sneak or open a lock with a piece of wire, I'm your man. And if you need lock picks, I can get them for you as well. Do you have a job for me? Yeah. Now we're in the clear, it's time to teach the Order a lesson. 
They sorely need it. I mean, they steal cattle from the farms and ration our food. The world's in turmoil, and they impose their rules. And? And people like Dargle the Butcher just do what the order says. So it's time to act. We need to show Dargle who can protect him and who can't. Where do I fit in? See Dargle and remind him that Don Esteban has a long reach. Who's Scordo? I'm going to trust you with this. He's the Don's head man in Harbour Town. Your paths will cross soon enough. Don't worry. Here's Costa's gold. Oh, that's great. Let's see. 150 for me, the rest for you. I'll tell Scordo you did good work. What do we do now? If you want more work here, you can try to collect from Josh. Not that profitable. But you have to take what you can get. Besides that, keep your ears open. You're bound to pick up on some opportunities. Tell me about Scordo. I shouldn't really have mentioned his name. Best not to ask too many questions. That means he's the Don's man here. Where can I find him? Clever one, aren't you? You can't find him. He's in hiding. He'll find you when the time comes. And not another word about him. Neither you nor I know that name. Got it? What can you teach me? I keep my word. If you want, I'll teach you to be a good thief. If you have time for idleness, I envy you. What? When I know you steal, how may I trust you? What? I'm not listening. Here is your casket. You found it. Anyone see you fetching it? No one important. Strangely, that doesn't put me at ease. This casket is heavy. I'm guessing I brought you more than clean shirts. Maybe shirts and the gold the Inquisition is looking for? Could be. Or it could be my shirt buttons are just extremely heavy. Could be. A lesser man would have forced the lock to find out. I gave you my word. And a man's word is worth more than gold. Though gold never goes amiss. What say I throw 300 gold your way? Then it would be rude of me to turn it down. 
Stranger or friend, a decent deed is worth a decent reward. I've got nothing more to say to you. And? What about Romanov's gold? Have you found anything? Nope. Not yet. I thought as much. The task was obviously too difficult for you. Now, unless you have good news, leave me to my job. do rather better than that. I have your key. Won't do you no good. You don't know where the chest is. Where is the chest? Do we have to do this again? You know my price. Ah, you win. Now find something useful to do. Do you know Durham? Durham? Durham is a good worker. He moves crates well. What else do you know about him? Do you owe him money? Gold does not interest me. Humans want gold, so Ukos must get gold to buy fried meat.
this smells good. Your brother, Ulf, wants you to go to your meeting point. Thanks. I'm on my way. Your wife is worried about your sons. Oh, Tilda? She worries about everything. No wonder my lads have gone. They needed the peace. I found Sid's spy. And Sid ordered him to do it, right? Yes, it was Doyle, one of the day laborers. He's scared to death and does not want to go back to the monastery. Found anything new on the burglaries? Doyle has disappeared. What? Sid got rid of his accomplice? That's terrible news. Now we don't have anything we can use against him. There's no choice now. You're going to have to keep an eye on Sid himself. From what I hear, Harbour Town's dangerous. You should think about protection. The warriors of the Order give me all the protection I need. They can't be everywhere. You just have to see the crime in this town to see that. Oh, I get it. You're from the Don's men, here to lean on me. You thought, ah, the Butcher, he'll be a soft touch. So, do things have to get nasty? Ha! Hurt me, he says. Come on, you want to fight? Who could teach me to pick locks? Keep your hands where I can see them. Haven't you got nothing better to do? You're hurting now. Agree to protection from Sid, and it'll never happen again. I'll mend. This doesn't change anything. I'm not paying you. Not now, not ever. Now sling your hook. Dargle won't pay. He'd rather fight than hand over gold. Yeah, he's a tough old goat. Nobody takes anything from him. Where does that leave us? He says he doesn't need protection. Fine. We show him he does. We'll steal from him. Steal what? He's got a chest. A bit of skill and a piece of wire and it'll open. That easily. Well, I did say you needed a bit of skill. Dargle keeps everything in there. If we empty it, he'll get the message. Busy place, the butcher's shop. Which is why you'll be careful.
what? Don't worry, I won't keep you. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's House of Pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible and lice-free. Good to know. What's your problem? I'm just getting to know Harbour Town. Tell someone who gives a shit. Now fuck off and stop snooping. So, I've got a couple of questions. Have you? Well, I'm not talking to anyone I don't know. So go and piss in someone else's ear. You belong to Captain Romanov's crew. Snooping like a spy? Now asking questions, whoever you are, I'm gonna kick your skull straight out of your stupid head. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Time to fight! Huh? Huh? Yeah! What are you up to? All right. What do you want? You shouldn't have such a big mouth. What do you want from me? Tell me about the key you had on you. If I tell you who that belongs to, I'd be digging my own grave. Now leave me alone. Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. And that key you had fits the front door. I've said too much. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on round here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? Tell me about you. How's business? The Inquisition don't care about maintaining order in a brothel. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. 
Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Just ask my girl Gwen what kind of a monster he is. I do need information. I'm all ears. Tell me something about Don Esteban's gang. That doesn't sound like a question to me. Give me something to work with, sweetie. Here's your gold back. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. So how strong is the Don's influence in this town? It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Not since the Inquisition pushed them out into the swamps. Most of the Don's men won't risk coming back either, even for one of my girls. I'm sure Esteban will strike back, though. He's too proud not to. What exactly does the Inquisition want with Harbour Town? They're after the gold artifacts. Crazy for them, they are. No idea what they do with them. All I know is everything they gather, they take up to the monastery. Why are there so many golden artifacts in this town? They've been mostly brought in by the farmers. The artifacts turned up at the same time as those ruins. They just popped up, practically overnight. But you can't eat gold, so most artifacts have been traded. Until the Inquisition claimed that all artifacts must be handed over to them, without any compensation. They came down hard on artifact smugglers too. Most got thrown into the monastery, if they were lucky. Who are the influential people? Who should I know? <laughs> well, there are plenty who think they are. You can't move for loudmouths and big heads round here. But the only one who really pulls the strings is Commandant Carlos. Most of the time he's in the guardhouse above the merchant quarter. You could do a lot worse than allying with his fighters, that's for sure. Is there anyone here who can teach me some skills? Well, all my girls are very talented. Oh, you mean combat. I think Cole up in the gutters is a hunter. He'll know about bows. I can't think of anyone else. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No, I have business to take care of. Pity, but something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell, so use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. Quiet. I'm I don't feel like talking. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up. Licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days, I'll be back on that bench again. Staring, licking, gesturing. I'll have a word with him. 
Would you spit in his face while you're at it? I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Oh, lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry. I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. I wish I had the spare time you seem to have. Don't bother me. Here is your gold. Give me the bowl. Here you go. Just keep quiet about where you got it. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Carefully you show it to. The Inquisition and the Dawns boys would love to get this. But I didn't trust them not to bash me over the head as soon as they got their paws on it. Well, my lad, what can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper, now Jack the old beachcomber. Seems the sea won't let me go. So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? Here, have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back, your front, your everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions, the sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Let's trade. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you step, or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. Who are you? I'm Edgar, head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. 
but at least it was local. What should I know about Harbour Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that harbour warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean, twitchy? Legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Arik, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close, and crossbow if they try and run. Can you train me? Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks, without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. Supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. <laughs> 